An Kankaya Sutta, if the bhikkhu desires. I heard thus, at one time the Blessed One was living in the monastery offered by Anna Tha Pindika in Jetta's Grove in Savati. There the Blessed One addressed the bhikkhus. O bhikkhus, abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. If the bhikkhu desires, be a lovable to the co-associates in the holy life, become pleasant and reverential complete virtues for internal appeasement without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop the silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, be a gainer of robes, morsel food, dwellings and requisites when ill, abide endowed with virtues honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues, complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom, and develop the silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires Think, whose ever robes, morsel food, dwellings, and requisites, when ill I partake, may it be of great benefit and results to those givers. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop the silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, think may it be of great benefit and results to those blood relations who are dead and gone that recall me with a pleasant mind. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop the silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, think, may I not live with aversion and attachment? May I not endure aversion? May I abide overcoming all arising aversions? Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear and the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom, and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, think, may I not live with great fear. May I abide overcoming all fears that arise. Abide and bowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, he becomes a quick and easy gainer of the four higher abidings. Pleasant abidings here and now 
gratis. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence. Seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, he experiences those immaterial releases with the body and abides. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence. Seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement. Without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, with the destruction of three fetters, become a stream enterer, not falling away from the head for enlightenment. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of respect and reverence, seeing fear and the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, destroying three fetters and making less of greed, hate, and delusion could come once more to this world and make an end of unpleasantness. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules. Be full of reverence and respect, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement. Without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, destroyer of five lower fetters is born spontaneously, not falling from there would extinguish from that birth. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues, complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom, and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, partake of various supernormal powers, being one became many, becoming many become one, would go unhindered across walls, embankments, and rocks, as going in space, on earth, diving and coming out is done as in water. On water walks unbroken as on earth. In space sits cross-legged as though birds small and large. The moon and sun, powerful as they are, touched with the hand. Thus, with the body, power is established as far as the Brahma world. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of reverence, seeing fear and the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, but the purified heavenly ear hear sounds both heavenly and human, far and near. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of reverence, seeing fear and the slightest fault, observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, penetrate 
and see the minds of other beings. Know the greedy mind and the mind free of greed. Know the angry mind and the mind free from anger. Know the deluded mind and the mind free of delusion. Know the contracted mind and the distracted mind. Know the developed mind and the undeveloped mind. Know the mind with compare and the mind without compare. Know the concentrated mind and the unconcentrated mind. Know the released mind and the unreleased mind. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules. Be full of reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault. Observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement. Without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, recollect previous births. One birth, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, a hundred births, a thousand births, a hundred thousand births, innumerable forward cycles of birth, innumerable backward cycles of birth, innumerable forward and backward cycles of birth. There I was born with such name, clan, disposition, supports, experiencing such pleasant and unpleasant feelings with such a span of life, disappearing from there is born there with such name, clan, disposition, supports, experiencing such pleasant and unpleasant feelings with such a span of life, disappearing from there is born here. Thus the manifold previous births are recollected with all details. Abide, endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules. Be full of reverence, seeing fear and the slightest fault. Observe the virtues. Complete virtues for internal appeasement. Without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, but the purified heavenly eye, beyond human sees, beings, disappearing and appearing in unexalted and exalted states, beautiful and ugly, in good and evil states, no beings according to their actions, these good beings misbehaving bodily, verbally, and mentally, blaming, noble ones with wrong views and wrong actions after death are born in loss in hell as for these good beings conducting well in body words and mind not blaming noble ones with the right view of actions after death are born in increase in heaven abide endowed with virtues honoring the higher code of rules, be full of reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues, complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom, and develop silent abidings. If the bhikkhu desires, with the destruction of desires, the mind released and released through wisdom here and now by himself knowing and realizing abide abide in doubt with virtues honoring the higher code of rules be full of reverence seeing fear and the slightest fault observe the virtues complete virtues for internal appeasement without neglecting jhana be endowed with wisdom 
and develop silent abidings. Bhikkhus, if it was said, abide endowed with virtues, honoring the higher code of rules, be full of reverence, seeing fear in the slightest fault, observe the virtues, complete virtues for internal appeasement, without neglecting jhana, be endowed with wisdom, and develop silent abidings. It was said on account of this. The Blessed One said thus, and the bhikkhus delighted in the words of the Blessed One.